Hey guys, I am Weepala Chavalala, your favorite kid on the internet, and thank you so much for clicking this video just to give you uh, entertainment. This is entertaining, so grab your cup of coffee. I got coffee in here. Um, I got coffee. I decided to make this a very chilled video. I'm just going to be answering a few of the questions you guys sent through on Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram, be sure to be part of that community because that's where i ask for questions that's where i source a lot of the content for this channel anyway so today we're just doing an updated q a it's not gonna be light some of these questions are not light at all like i thought people would ask me you know but anyway it's fine it's fine it's fine okay let's start with something all of them all of them, all of them are like personal questions but i like that i like that Okay, so the first question reads, what is your favorite pastime? I thoroughly enjoy TikTok, <laughs> spending my time on TikTok, watching movies. I am a fan of the Marvel Universe, and lately, they've just been giving. Like, they're just giving. So I need to get into The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I finished WandaVision. I'm still processing all of that. Um... But yes, anything consuming entertainment, consuming YouTube videos, that's my thing. Okay, what is the most important thing in your life at the moment? Me. And I think it's establishing a holistic routine, like, in life. That's what I want. I want to live a full life. Um, by full, I mean that I'm serving, like, my, like, my mental is good physically i'm good emotionally i'm good um spiritually i'm also fed so those are the type of things like that's the most important thing in my life right now me okay it smells like i don't know what it smells like <laughs> what inspires you i would say my dreams and aspirations that's what gets me up in the morning the fact that i'm not where i want to be inspires me but i draw a lot of inspiration from black women black women in luxury black women just doing amazing things now i'm a fan i'm a fan of black women black women black women that's it that's the tweet plans after graduation for those of you who don't know, I'm in my third year at university. Yeah, I, yo, bras, no ways. I would love to get a job um, so that I can pay for medical aid, so that I can go to therapy, so that, you know, I almost said ingondo, ibe straight. Did I pronounce that properly? Yeah, but just to get my head right, uh, I really just want to get a job, um, travel you know grow my i want to work that's that's it i want to work yeah who inspires me okay so the first one was what this one is who inspires me i would say someone that like directly inspires me like on an everyday basis has to be my roommate uh at one and only rory she's a content creator her grind just the way she goes about things yeah just her life's philosophies it's been such a blessing like doing life with her watching her do life a second person that um or a collective that inspires me really would be my favorite youtubers on Icadium, Menzi, I think he's always raising the bar for, and he's always like 10 steps ahead of the curb with broke niggas, with guide two, with microwave, microwave boys, with sisterhood of the traveling girl. Like he's always, I feel like everything he puts his hand to is, he's futuristic. If I had to describe Menzi, I would say he's futuristic. Like, he inspires me. Um, who else inspires me? Who do I? Patricia Bright. Patricia Bright. That woman. That's what I gotta say. Who are my favorite content creators? Okay, on Arcadium, 
uh defining one and only rory <laughs> bb eating i have a food blog check it out it's cute it's really cute um jackie Ina. i love her like reels and tiktoks and stuff like that jackie Ina for show uh who am i getting into recently Mikhe Sopam, I love the way she like vlogs. I really enjoy her vlogs. Kahosol, um, come on. Who are these? Who are? Who, I'm thinking about people I watch. It's your boy Abo. Uh... Yeah, let me like catch a stray. Let me just say that. Yeah which brands would you love to work with um google <laughs> i would love to work with google maps google google maps google you know i would love to work with google i would also love to work with um any unilever brand and i say this specifically dove dove back in the day was not really a brand centered or marketed towards black women like they've caught so many strays in the advertising world that i'm just like they need to redefine what unilever is about or what dove is about as a brand like we know dove exists but we don't know like what are dove's philosophies and all of that so dove for sure um i would love to work with like a cafe like an obscure cafe that people don't know about just get to know like how did they come up with their menu what is like the theme of their cafe things like that like that that's the type of girlie i am definitely love to work with uh himalaya Himalaya is a skincare brand that is also not very popular in South Africa. I mean, it's there, it's in the shops, but we're not like henna brand presence. Well, one. So, yeah, I don't know if I'd with these brands, how I'm describing how I want to work with them. I don't know if I wanted to be uh, I'm the face or if I'd like to help them strategize, if that makes sense. So, hit me up. Okay, how do you like to be comforted by the ones you love? Heart emoji. Honestly, just be there. I enjoy quality time, so just be around. Just be there, you know. Doesn't even have to be anything too deep. Like, just be there. That's all I have to say. Just, just be there. Just, your presence. Is enough for me and i'll say this over and over again just just be there mm. what's something you've done that you're really really proud of i gave my mother a very beautiful send-off and she really she thought she was kind of a big funeral but <laughs> kobe was like no nope. And I was happy. I was like, oh my god, thank you. But I gave her such a beautiful send-off. And for me, that means everything to me. Like, that means I closed that chapter beautifully. Yeah, I'm very proud of that. Materialistically, I didn't drop out. <laughs> I'm still pushing school. So I'm really, really proud of myself. I School gets hectic. So yeah there's that how are you uh i'm good <laughs> i'm as good as i look but i'm good cotilento girth i get to work out in in Lengthy in. Hi, lady video. Nah. Hi, little lily. It must still have that content. You know what I'm saying? 
but if it's short and compact but i can see the quality of the video <laughs> that you put in work into this video then we can have a conversation what's my type what's my type <laughs> I want to say I don't know. I don't know. Hakso Jolie. Because I wasn't sure. What's my type? The first thing that came to mind was black men. But it's also because I don't interact with a lot of white people. And I'm, like, I'm from the free state. And the white people that I've interacted with. Some of them are just. You know. No thank you. You know. No thank you. Not she trying to pick me up. You know. Uh, I don't I don't know but I think ideally a person that I'll be open to dating is someone who is God-fearing someone who is about their life someone who's about progression or bona someone who has things going on someone who is chasing a dream uh, let's be very specific about these dreams that you're chasing they must also be very realistic right and sometimes, maybe I do not understand your dreams, but I don't want a person who has a dream of becoming a doctor, right? And you are not on your way there, or you're not making that happen. Let's say you're studying a BSc now. You're making it happen. Let's say you are going to upgrade your marks in biology or whatever. You're making it happen. Would I date someone? I don't know. But someone with... I don't like drive, you know, someone kind, funny, and just has a broad pool of world knowledge. Like, you know what's going on in the world. You're not ignorant to the things that are going on. I can't date an elitist, classist, little bigot, you know, just, there's no way. There's actually no way. Yeah. I mean, money would help, but first, Firstly, I love your personality. Thank you. Thank you. And when are we getting the next YouTube? I'm, I'm making it now. Here it is. <laughs> Here's the next YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the one... What What is one of the biggest things you've learned in the past year? That... you can be happy and grieve at the same time you can be content and still want more like you could be good but still know that there's better you understand what i'm saying like there's things like that can coexist and i feel like for a lot of time people like just be grateful and i am so so grateful for life <laughs> life is not about ubomi but life ubomi just my everyday life but i still want more for myself you understand what i'm saying so i've learned that and that my dreams are very very valid and yeah just you know creative direction direction things like that come to you the more you tap into what you want to do if that makes any sense. The last question. <laughs> asks. How much would. Okay. How much would a woodchuck chuck. If a woodchuck could chuck wood. A lot. How many. Uh, you got a lot. Yeah, anyway, that's it. That is the end of the Q&A. It, it is, yeah, that is the end of the Q&A. Thank you so, so much for watching this updated Q&A. Um, I hope you uh, got a little science sign in. Answer the questions down in the comment section. And if you have anything else you'd like to ask me, just do that. You know, I hate these generic outros. Let's be honest. Let me just be honest. Like, I hate it. Like, I just, I just, I just, just, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. It has been lit. <laughs> you know, like, 
I just like, oh, thank you so much for mm, play. I don't know, go back to YouTube. <laughs> ah, go back to YouTube. Go back to YouTube. Huh? I could see, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching. It has been Weepola Tamala like your favorite kid on the net.